Okay. So Stephanie Canada put out a challenge for us to make the walk away dress and to aid us in doing so, um, she traced out the copy that she had in a size 32 bus. So I did make a video of how I got to getting this pattern because I didn't print this out correctly. Um, but it did really help me have a roadmap of how to get, how to like cobble the pattern together to that would fit me. Um, so it was really helpful having all of the diagrams and everything out. Um, and also the photos. I love the black and white version. I might eventually have to make one like that. Um, but when I printed out like the main body <laughs> of the dress, this is what I got. Um, but it gave me the right shape um, of what I should go for. Here's the layout. Um, the front, well, like the back bodice piece printed out okay. And I was able to make my pattern from that piece and size it up to where it would fit me. Um, but like the main part of the dress, I just had to cobble together. And I did make a video of how I did that. And a couple people surprisingly have said that it was very helpful to them. I was just winging it. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never taken a pattern making class. I started sewing when I was in high school and someone gave me a sewing machine for free. My cat was making a lot of noise. Um, so I was given a sewing machine when I was in high school and then I just like got fabric from uh, thrift stores to practice on and um, I would use my babysitting money. <laughs> to buy fabric at the thrift store. Um, so that's how I got started with sewing. I was given a free sewing machine and I would just use babysitting money that I got um, to buy fabric at thrift stores. Um, and yeah, so I have, I've never taken a sewing class. Uh, YouTube has been my, YouTube and like Google. <laughs> that's how I learn things and watching other people make stuff. Um, so I'm very interested to see what other people make with this. Um, and I think it's going to be a really fun challenge. So I'm going to get into the video now. Thank you, Stephanie, for, uh, I mean, it was really helpful to have all of the diagrams. So, um, having it printed out of what I did print out was actually very helpful. So let's get started. All right. Good morning, everyone. So it is September 27th, I think. Is it Tuesday? It must be Tuesday. Um, so today I'm going to make the walkaway dress. So I have my breakfast, which is a cream cheese Danish from Costco that I've warmed up. So breakfast haul, Costco haul, I don't know. I'm going to eat this nice and sugary to get me going. And then I have my coffee, which is that pumpkin spice coffee, which I'll have a link in the description for. Um, and then pumpkin spice whipped cream that was from Albertsons. It tastes like pumpkin pie in cream form. It is so good. <laughs> so this is how I'm making my pumpkin-y coffee uh, at home right now. Oh, this, I, if you haven't tried this whipped cream, you need to. It's so good. <laughs> so I'm going to eat my breakfast and then we're going to get started my pattern already. Kitten, what are you doing? You getting it ready for me? Okay, um, I have my pin cushion. I have, um, I'm, I decided to use both of these fabrics. I thought it would be nicer to use two different fabrics. So this is going to be like the front piece of the dress that wraps around to like half of your body and then like buttons in the back with elastic. And then on the outside that wraps around from the back around to the front, I want to do the Animal Crossing fabric. I think these would look really nice together. And it'll make the dress look more interesting having two different fabrics and then just some pink buttons. Um, also need to get my sewing clips. They're probably on the shelf behind me. I quickly ate my Danish. I've drank in most of my coffee. And now... I'm going to throw in a load of laundry so I can wash that because I need to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to get started on cutting the pattern out 
and I think it should go together quickly. Hopefully it ends up fitting right. So I have my circle skirt cut out right here. This is the back of the bodice that wraps around the front. I have two layers because I wanted it to be lined. And then this is that front part that wraps around your front and to your sides. I need to mark and pin the darts. So I'll probably start there. Um, I'll probably start on this so that we can do the elastic and get that to wrap around our body. And then I might attach that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> So it is 8.54. I've got all of the darts sewn. I just ironed the pieces. Now I'm going to start assembling it. So I think we actually could get this done before lunch. Um, so these places will be, um, the back pieces will be placed right, no wrong sides together because we'll be doing binding around it so it doesn't really matter about finishing the edges. Um, I'll cut binding out of one of these. Um, so I'll just cut strips of fabric. I'm not going to bother cutting it on the bias. I'm just going to cut it as strips like I always do. Honestly, it usually turns out fine. Actually, I've never had it not turn out fine, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to put these together, and then we're going to pin the shoulders together here. All right, so the right sides are pinned together at the shoulders. So I'm going to sew across this. Then we can wrap it around ourselves, see how it fits, and um, then I will sew the circle skirt on to the back bodice piece. And then I think all we need to do is binding. And it is, I think it's almost 9 a.m. I checked the clock, it's 9.03. So let's sew the shoulder seams, we'll wrap it around ourselves. And then, oh yeah, we'll do the elastic as well. So I'll wrap it around myself. I'll see how much elastic we'll need to fasten this piece behind my back. Um, and then we'll do the binding. Okay, so I actually feel like I should add the elastic after the edges are all finished, right? Because I have to go over it with the binding, the edges. So I think I maybe should do the elastic after I do the binding. So I'm going to attach the circle skirt to this bodice part then. Okay, I just sewed the circle skirt onto it, so now we have a dress. I still need to do that elastic piece though. Okay, so this 
Here's the dress. This piece wraps around. We'll have to do the elastic so it'll hold in place. And then this. Is it folded in? Where are you? Okay. So this goes behind. And this comes forward. Okay. Do we have something that looks like a walkaway dress? There we go. That's cute. Let me move this back. I'm worried the circle skirt might be a little short. Is it? Is this okay? Is it okay for like the overskirt to be a little bit shorter? Oh. Do you know what? I'll just have to, I'll have to make this a little shorter. Because it looks kind of cute with it overlapping, but then in the back, you won't see the under part. So I think think I will have to shorten this front dress part by about four inches but this is really cute I think it looks good oh and like that extra piece of part that I added on the side behind my arm I think it helped with the coverage I needed from when I did the uh, mock-up. I think that looks really good. This is cute. Yeah, and then, yeah. So I need to shorten, I need to shorten this, do the elastic, and binding now. I think it's like 9.30 at the moment. So we almost have a dress before lunch see for the back elastic piece I think I'll need let's see maybe about four inches of elastic okay let's do this all right so I cut off about four inches from the underdress so now it looks like they are fairly the same length. Okay. Hopefully I made enough binding for the edges, but on the parts where there's Animal Crossing fabric, I will line, I will do the edging with this. And in the parts that are made of this fabric, I'll edge with that fabric so that it'll have some contrast. It is currently 11.56 and I'm getting to the binding, sewing that on. I don't know if this will exactly be finished by a lunchtime. Maybe, maybe I can finish it by one. We'll see. But I am of the habit of finishing binding by hand. If you aren't finishing the binding by hand, I'm sure it'll go much quicker. But I can't break my habit. So I'm finishing the inside of the dress by hand with um, the inside of the binding. So here I sit, sewing away. Um, I might be filming less and less just because I'm trying to do this quickly. And uh, filming takes makes it take longer. So it is now 12.17. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this by like a normal lunch time. Um, what you haven't seen is every two hours I have to bottle feed two little kittens that I got last night. They both have problems with legs. <laughs> Um, so I'm having to stop every two hours to take care of them. I've also stopped to do some laundry. <laughs> I have four other foster kittens that are about five weeks old. <laughs> so I have to give them wet food every now, every once in a while. Because that's what they are eating right now. So I've had to have some breaks. Oh yeah, my mom also called because she had to go to the emergency room last night. But she's fine. Um, uh, what else? My husband also had to call me because apparently someone tried adding a phone line to our, our phone bill. 
um, there was like some kind of mistake. And so he had to call me to make sure I didn't do anything. I wasn't some, for some reason, adding a phone line. So there's been lots of interruptions. I think I can finish the dress today, but I don't know about the challenge of starting it after breakfast and finishing it before lunch. I am starting to get a little hungry too, so I might make some, I have some chicken tortilla soup in the fridge I might warm up. Um, and I probably actually need to bottle feed the kittens again. <laughs> um, right now I'm just working on the binding. I sewed it on, um, right sides together of the binding to the fabric, but then when I flip it on the inside, I always finish binding by hand like that, so I am sticking to what I normally do because it looks nicer in the end, and this is a dress that I would hopefully want to wear later, so I want it to look nicer. Um, so I don't know about finishing it before lunch, but I, I think I can finish it today at least, by tonight. <laughs> So I have officially failed. I made some chicken tortilla soup. And now I have started lunch without my dress being finished. So in my case, no, I could not make this after breakfast, but before lunch. But I think I can still finish it today. Um, it's just, I wouldn't advise to make a dress in a day unless you really want to and it's bringing you joy. I think I'd rather take a little bit more time. <laughs> Uh, so there's that.
Okay, so I am not convinced that you would be able to make this walk away dress after breakfast and before lunch. Now, I did have a lot of interruptions throughout the day that I wasn't necessarily expecting. The night I was planning on doing this video that day, um, but the night before, what I didn't plan was getting bottle babies that I would have to feed every two hours. So, among sewing, every two hours I'm stopping to feed them, take care of them. One of them I have to uncast, like unwrap their leg, and then um, it's broken, so I have to, uh, uh, so just why I had to take pictures of it to send to the rescue so that they could see progress on it. And then I also would have to recast it, which takes time. <laughs> Um, I had two different phone calls of, that I couldn't, like, miss. One was my husband, um, where a phone line was being added to our phone plan, and it wasn't me, it wasn't my husband, it wasn't my mom, so, uh, there was some type of mistake with our phone plan, and my husband had to call me and make sure I didn't do that so he could take care of it and be like, this isn't us doing this. And then my mom wanted to give me an update on... Um, she had to go to the emergency room um, that the night before I decided to make that uh, I was planning on making this um, so she was giving me an update on everything she's okay um, there was a lot of disruptions um, so I'm I also made my own binding for around the edges maybe if you have pre-made binding and you don't have to finish it off by hand um when i do binding on something i always sew the binding right sides together flip it in and then i finish it by hand so that added a lot of time if you're able to do that using only the sewing machine then maybe you might be able to finish it that quickly but i feel like it the finish isn't going to be quite as nice so i don't know maybe someone can do this in that amount of time. But for me, I was sewing throughout the day for about 12 hours. <laughs> I started at 6.30 a.m., I believe, and then I finished at like 6.30 p.m. Um, with all of those distractions. So, I mean, maybe if you don't have any, distract any distractions, you have the perfect day, maybe you can do it. I'm interested to see if anyone else makes a video making this dress and if they are able to complete it in that small amount of window. But really for me, I need at least a day if it's like a simple, easy dress, uh, maybe more. Um, I would have rather worked on this over two or more days, but I was trying to do the challenge, which I failed, but I did get it done in one day. So is it a complete fail? Maybe. <laughs> um, I think my dress turned out really cute. It was shorter than I kind of wanted it to be because my fabric width was only so wide. And with making a circle skirt, you're kind of uh, stuck when you cut it out all in one piece. You're kind of stuck on making the length of the skirt like as wide as the fabric is when you're able to cut it. So that's why it's so short. It looks almost more like it would be good to wear at the beach. It looks, uh, it does look very cute. Like, I think it's good for summer at the beach. Um, I would like to make a longer length eventually. I think for Christmas, it would be really cute to make this in like a dark green fabric. I think that would be really cute and hopefully be available to make it in a longer length. But the design is actually really adorable and flattering. Um, so I definitely would suggest trying out this pattern. Maybe give yourself more time, though, than a morning. <laughs> um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a good day. Okay, bye.